Okay, so let's apply what we've learned. This is our atomic number. So we apply that to 8 man. Okay, so it's 13 equals 13 proton equals 13 neutrons, or excuse me, electrons. Okay, we have 13 protons, 13 electrons. Okay, we need to figure out how many neutrons. So we take the mass, we have to round this, that'll be 27, 27 minus the atomic number 13. Okay, 27 minus 13, 14, so that equals 14 neutrons. Okay, so we see aluminum here in the periodic table. We see that it is in period three, so we're no, we know that we're going to use all three energy levels in this Bohr model. We see that it's in group 13, and it says 3A here, so it's going to have three valence electrons. So let's see. We have 13 positive protons, 14 neutrons, 13 electrons. Okay, 13 electrons. So let's start here. One, two, that's all that can fit in the first level. So we go to the second level. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, and that's all that can fit there is eight, so now we have to go to the third level. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen electrons. And just like it says here, okay, 3A, it's in group 13, so we should have three valence electrons. We can have one, two, three valence electrons. Valence electrons are on the outer level this outer level. Let's try another one. We have chlorine. Chlorine is also in period three. So we are going to use all three, but we see that it is in group 17. 7A, that means there will be seven valence electrons. Well, let's see. Let's do eight man first. Okay, these equal each other. And M minus A equals N. So our atomic number is 17, which means we're going to have 17 protons, 17 electrons. Okay, our other A down here means the same thing, atomic number. So we'll put our 17 here. Mass. We have 35.4. So we're going to keep this at 35. 35 minus 17. This is how many neutrons we're going to have. Okay. 18 neutrons. So here's our subatomic particles. We have 18 neutrons, 17 electrons, 17 protons. 17 positive protons, 18 neutrons, and we should have 17 electrons. So we'll start in the first level. We only can fit two, and then we need to go to the second level. Two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we need seven more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So according to our chart here, it's in group seventeen, so we should have seven valence electrons. 
we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, group 17, it wants one more. It wants one more, so this is very reactive. A very reactive group. Okay. Let's do helium. So helium is right here. So we know it's at level one. We're only going to use one energy level. Okay. We also know that it's here on this very last group, which is our noble gases, our very stable and happy group. Okay, but there's a little difference here because the most that the first energy level can have are two. But because that's the most it can hold, it's, that's why helium's over here. He's in the happy group. As long as it's full, it's like when your belly's full, you're happy. So let's figure out all the rest. Okay, let's do our eight man. A atomic number is two, so that means there's two protons, two electrons, which I already filled in. Mass is four. Okay, so four minus the atomic number. That's how many neutrons we have two. Okay, so we have two protons, two positive protons, two neutral neutrons, no charge. So we have two positive, and then we have two negatives. And the two positive and two negative equals out, so that's why it is considered stable. And the energy level that it has is full, so that is a happy atom. do one that we haven't talked about yet. Calcium. Calcium is here. It's on level four. So we only have three, so let's draw an extra one because we know it's going to have uh, four energy levels. We also know that it's right here in level two, so there's going to be two valence electrons. So let's do the math. Let's figure everything out. Eight man. We have 20, 20, 20, because they all equal each other. 20 protons, 20 electrons. The mass, we're going to keep it at 40. We're going to minus the atomic number. So we should have 20 neutrons. So we have 20 positive protons. 20 neutral neutrons, and we should have 20 electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we have group two, so there should be two valence electrons, yep.